Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. If you've bought a photographic print in the last 200 years, it was probably done with a process called silver halide printing. This traditional printmaking process is regarded as the purest form of photographic printing. But in the last 25 years, photo labs have begun to adopt inkjet printing as a better alternative to silver halide. Today, we're gonna look at the comparison of these two print processes and give you the top four benefits of inkjet photo printing. Let's start with a very basic overview of silver halide prints, also called chromogenic or C prints. Silver halide printing exposes light sensitive paper to light through a negative, triggering a chemical reaction in silver crystals on the paper surface. Chemical development then reveals the image, followed by fixing and washing steps to stabilize and create the final print. As you can imagine, over the course of two centuries, the advancements in emulsion chemistry, paper manufacturing, and printing techniques have refined the process to improve image quality, speed, and convenience. Even with the most recent technological advancements in silver halide printing from companies like Durst, Noritsu, and Fuji, the process is still nuanced, specialized, and relatively complex. Enter inkjet printing around the turn of the century. Rather than using light to expose an image to paper, inkjet printing places pigmented ink drops on the surface of the paper. The main players developing inkjet technology for photographic prints are Epson and their P-Series line, Canon and their Image ProGraph Pro Series, and HP with their Design Jet printers. While they all go about firing ink drops differently, the basic process is the same. So now let's look at why many photo labs have begun to make this transition from silver halide printing to digital inkjet printing. Before we get to the actual list, the first reason really is that many of these labs have aging traditional silver halide printers that are expensive to maintain. The large format printers like the Durst Theta or ZBE Chromira require costly contracts causing many labs to look at the next technology that they should be investing in. So now without further ado, here are the top four benefits of moving from silver halide printing to inkjet photo printing. Number one, inkjet printing has a much larger color gamut potential. Where silver halide uses different light sensitive layers with color couplers to create cyan, magenta, and yellow based images, the latest inkjet printers from Epson and Canon have up to 12 colors that help to reach way out into the visible color spectrum where silver halide simply can't go. For example, Epson's P9570 has CMYK inks, but also adds orange, green, and violet inks to stretch the gamut. Number two, with ink drop sizes as small as two picoliters, inkjet photo prints can achieve much sharper details. The tiny droplets and the use of light tinted inks like light cyan, light magenta, and light gray makes the visual drops imperceptible except under mag magnification. Chemistry provides beautiful continuous tones, but it can't achieve fine details through exposure as precisely as inkjet printers can through additive dots. Number three, inkjet has far more paper type options. Silver halide has very limited paper options, only from Kodak and Fuji. This is because the paper construction is so specific with light sensitive dyes in the paper and new competitors to Kodak and Fuji are not moving into the space because silver halide continues to shrink year by year. On the contrary, inkjet papers receive a special inkjet receptive coating, but nearly any paper or substrate can be coated for inkjet reception. This opens up a world of options printing with inkjet. You can print photo papers, 100% cotton papers, bamboo papers, linen, canvas, etc. We sell hundreds of inkjet printable papers in all different weights and white points. This flexibility gives labs the ability to differ differentiate and develop new products that are different from every other photo lab. And number four, better longevity and archivability. Pigmented inkjet prints will outlast silver halide prints by a wide margin. Since silver halide prints are created by light exposure, it is more susceptible to deterioration with continuing ambient exposure to light, heat, and humidity. Henry Wilhelm, founder of Wilhelm Imaging Research, has tested print longevity for several decades. Through accelerated testing, he has shown that even the most archival silver halide papers like Kodak Endura and Fuji Crystal Archive only offer between 20 and 40 years of longevity. If you've ever looked through old pictures, you know this to be true. In the same accelerated testing with Epson and Canon inks with their archival papers, Wilhelm Imaging Research has shown print permanence of 200 to 400 years. Inkjet printed photographs are about 10 times longer lasting than those done with silver halide. So for photographers looking to have their work last for a lifetime or 
five lifetimes, the choice needs to be inkjet printed photos. So there you have it. Those are the top four reasons that we have seen Photo Labs make the transition from silver halide printing to inkjet photographic printing with Epson, Canon, and HP. IT Supplies was birthed 25 years ago at the emergence of digital photography. Our photographic and fine art background makes us a great resource if you're interested in learning more about a possible transition to inkjet for photographic printing. Find us at itsupplies.com and give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.